What's going on, Workforce? Brian here, and today, you know, it's like feels like Final Fantasy 15 Heaven Day. Just tons of information about this game. Was playing it last night with Chris and my friend Mark, and oh my gosh, just having a blast playing a loading simulator. I mean, let's be honest, right? But <laughs> I, I still, like I can say, I, I'm really, really enjoying this expansion, this, you know, expansion to the Final Fantasy 15 world. But the reason for this video is specifically that right now, actually, the active time report is going on, kind of celebrating the one year anniversary since the launch of Final Fantasy XV. And as a part of that, there's just tons of information coming out about the game. I want to kind of like narrow it down, focus in on comrades, because that's really what I'm playing a lot of and I'm very excited about. Obviously, the Ignis episode's coming out here in December, not that you know far from now. And so there's going to be bits and pieces they're talking about Final Fantasy 15 and their plans into 2018. But narrowing the scope and really just focusing in on what they've talked about with comrades, I wanted to share that with you guys because there is a lot of really good stuff here. Namely, the uh, there's an update coming on December the 12th, version 1.1, and its hope is to fix several bugs. Players not leveling up, lots of bugs, disconnects, all of that, you know, really, really annoying stuff that, you know, has existed. And we've kind of just kind of gone, you know, through it. But they detail several things that, at least according to this translation provided by X Rain X, Link is in the description below. Go give them some thumbs up on Reddit. They're doing a fantastic job. Lots of other information in here too. So if you want to go see like all the stats from the surveys, want to find out more about what's going on with 15, this is the thread to go and, and look over. I guarantee you, you will find something interesting in this thread. But just focusing in on what's been you know communicated regarding comrades, they said they fixed loading times. Now, they didn't say that the issue that why we have to keep loading in and out has been addressed, but they say that depending on the area, it's been fixed about 10 to 30 seconds. Now, 30 seconds still seems like a long time, but considering how much time we actually do a fight and how much time you spend right now currently loading, I'm hoping more for that kind of that range. And then obviously playing on either a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X, hopefully will continue to improve that aspect. But if it jumps down into where it's just loading is 10 seconds, that's going to be a huge help and it's going to feel like I'm spending more time obviously in the game as opposed to at the loading screen itself. So again, December the 12th, this is when the update drops and hopefully we're going to see that improvement. So obviously, you know, only a couple of weeks from now. They also report that AI recruitment time is actually uh, considerably faster. I don't necessarily have an issue with it. I always would just say, okay, fire off the mission and I felt like they would jump in. So I don't know if anybody out there has really kind of struggled with this, but regardless, it's faster loading and this should hopefully help improve the overall experience for the game. Then they say that they're adding in a timed battle quest. Uh, I don't know if it's just one or many, but in which that you, for a period of time, battle against endless waves of monsters for loot. And in that regards, this should hopefully help you know, offset the bouncing in and out to where maybe you can queue in. And I don't, they didn't really specify how long this, you know, active battle is going to be, but they said that items that are also attained in here can be turned into Sid for Sid buffs. And in and of itself, that sounds very exciting to me, namely because imagine just going with a friend, let's say hypothetically, it's at a 10 to 15 minute interval. Well, that means that I don't have to keep loading in and out. And then we can try our best and see how we can progress further and further. I'm hoping personally that the monsters continually get harder and harder, but that's just me. That's the inner horde mode uh, fan <laughs> that I am in me in this regards. So the Sid buffs piece is interesting. Um, I'm really excited to see how that kind of you know works its way into the game, and I think that could offer a lot of value because from a farming perspective, I'm hoping that we see a lot of variety here. That's one of the biggest issues right now is that. Again, the loading issue from A to B to C, like if you want to go out and farm. It doesn't, you know, kind of fill the need that I want to see, like with open world content brought into this game, because, the, I mean, the world is there, you know, let's run around in it. It doesn't, you know, solve uh, <laughs> the ability to invite a friend into my game so that we don't have to worry about doing all this matchmaking here and, and there. But hopefully we're going to see some more uh, regarding to that. But towards the future, they say that Final Fantasy 15 comrades, they've got big plans for it in 2018 and this is you know this is just a small update to it for this year to fix these bugs to address these issues to add in this type of content so in that vein in the future they've got a lot of plans that they haven't yet expressed but they say like avatar outfits are coming to this game but obviously not with the 1.1 patch that's scheduled for again december the 12th so as far as what that you know includes 
you know, we could only venture to guess. They don't really go into a lot of detail, but they're, they're kind of hinting at more players, uh, including various, uh, you know, you know the main st- story characters, Noctis, Co. I don't know how that's going to work because, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but, <laughs> uh, you know, Noctis is a little bit unavailable for, you know, a, a while, let's just say it that way. Uh, but the other characters are obviously running around. So I'm hoping, again, that we can see these big updates as in invite to friends, open world, Heck, even be able to initiate a quest from the camp so you don't have to keep going back into town. Even with the considerable load times, 10 to 30 seconds, if I can just queue into a camp and or even just queue into a playlist, let me go to mission to mission to mission until I fail, you know, <laughs> or something. There's a lot they can do here. This game is very enjoyable and a lot of fun to play. I'm really excited to see that they can continue to update it. They've got more plans for the future, talking about DLC and whatnot. And honestly, if people are having fun with it, then this is great. <laughs> this is going to be great. Going to keep that fix going uh, until obviously we see something with uh, the future of Final Fantasy, which we could also learn about in 2018. Lots of Final Fantasy uh, this week. Uh, can't be happier or more excited unless they announce that Final Fantasy 12 Zodiac is coming to PC tomorrow, but uh, no word on that yet. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope to see you in my next video. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I hope you <laughs> I hope for a lot of things. I'm butchering this ending. I'm going to let it go, and I will see you next time. Test, test, to test, 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 to test, test, test. Does my audio sound fine? My voice is kind of a little bit scratchy today. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>